So I'm showing the class how I use my iPad to design fabrics. So at the moment, I'm, I've taken a photograph of everybody's work around the room and now I'm making a collage with all the different pieces and showing everybody how it could be combined using this uh, iPad, uh, which is my sketchbook, and Procreate. Okay? Any other questions? Um, Karen, do you have any questions? Why did you want to start there? Yeah. Well, I studied art at school and then at college and went away to design um, clothing and fashion and then I, I wanted to start my own business so I learned how to design fabrics for myself um, and when I started this technology wasn't available but I've started I've used and learned about all the different technologies along the way. Thank you. What are you doing with them? So we're putting them in order, then we're going to scan them on the map. Okay. different stuff on the laptop. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Oh, yeah, the moon changes so much color. Are you filming? Yeah. We're going to get my voice. So five. I like five cases. Want to do it upside down? Hold on a minute, guys. I'm drawing on the wrong view. So you can draw on top of So I'm going to take you in here and we're going to see a little bit of the and then what we're going to do is we're going to observe a little bit in the workshop and we're just the number one thing is your safety okay so when we go in here we'll keep to the middle and then in the workshop we'll keep to this side of the room but I'll point it out to you. This is uh, garnets growing in a schist, what they call a schist. So that's actual garnet. See the, the symmetry that is in rock crystals. The symmetry, that's what they call fool's gold. It's pyrite. Okay. This full is quite exciting. Does anybody know what this is? No. no. Have you seen them before? It looks a bad. Oh, right. It looks like Ooh, a bad. Fossil. <laughs> it is a fossil. And and the the they are very prolific probably in England somewhere. I think they as I think so. Yeah, that's that's hematite that one. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is so, that like a real thing from real crystals? That's, that's how yeah. shells are formed. That that's a great big that is supposed to be an, some sort of Clam. shell. Clam. Oyster. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a, an oyster shell or some description. And uh, and it came from the far east, and this is them grow. They put a little bit of grit in the in the shell while the thing's still alive, and that makes them 
it, it kind of goes round the grip and makes a pearl. So that's cultured pearls. Yeah, that's how they're formed. You can see, can you imagine a violent explosion and all this stuff broke off little bits of rock and then it, it's got all trapped in, in like a design. That's my basic understanding of it. <laughs> is that, where is that from in Orkney? This is from Hoxha, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. from Hoxha. So this is off the beach of Hoxha. Now we have got a dike at Hoxha and a late John Brown was a, a very famous Orkney geologist. He um, asked my mum if he could take a geologist down to see the dike in Hoxha. Dike is actually this crack in the crust where the rocks have come up like that and all the other rocks are like that, right? And you'll see this, especially in Bershi, if you look to your right in Bershi, you look at Brocha Bershi and you look to your right, you'll see two runs of rocks that are going up and down. That's a dike. You've heard of asbestos, that's asbestos. You, you wouldn't really want to work with that much. And then you've got all the thing, different stones and things. And then I'll let you take pictures and start with Oh, you got a pile of this. This is, everybody heard of opal? That's a lump of opal. You cut yeah. precious stones. That's a bonny thing. This is a nice metallic stone, that's hematite. And that's the, the that pyrite. That's, yeah, it does it like very yeah. And the, I think the, the Stone Age people use that for drawing with because it leaves a red mark. Little flints in this box here was found just at May's house. So that would be little spearheads and things. But this shows you what flint looks like and the guys would have made this into little implements. So my husband Rick found that at, uh, in the ploughed field at May's house. These little things. So. When you're looking at stones, if you feel that it's got a different surface for another stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can have, yeah. And there's, there's a rock, you might see rocks like that in Orkney, it's like which is a metallic one and an inside. Look at the crystals. So oh, it's somebody, it's when they like asked them what that was, they called it a me metallic slag, that one, mm -hmm. which is not a very nice name, is it? And then the the sea went out a bit or the water went out a bit and the sun would have baked the ripples mm. of the water in that silt and the sun made that like a mold so it sort of made it a wee bit hard so the next lot of silt that washes down it creates another layer so this is why you see things when it re erodes it comes off in layers oh. see here's a cup here's some silt that's separated here. Very thin. Yeah, and that's that's just been another rain, a shower of rain, and some more silt washed off the big mountains, and it's settled in the, on the edge of the lake. And there you go, it's it's, it's re eroding off, and it shows you how thin it can be and beautiful. Then there's like a picture of Hero's Walk, and then to the right of the picture, there's info on Ted Keller and what he did and below it is a shelf with Ted Hellick stuff on it with maybe like a backing light or something to make it shine brighter. Oh, that's a good idea. And then below it is like the class shelf with like some pictures of us and some of our rocks slice. Then below that is like a Sheila Fleet thing, like some of her moulds and pictures of her doing stuff. And then the bottom bit's just like pictures of all of our students and stuff. That be good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. In the bottom right, left, well, right, um, with the little case with all the stones to go, maybe some backing light on the right and left, and then here, um, maybe some images of, like, you know, inside of a rock, the microscope photos, and then, um, Maybe some like information down the left, mock top left. There's the shelf, like near the middle, in the middle of the shelf, there's a microscope and rocks and, and slice rocks. Yeah. And some of them I can see on stands. Yeah, and there's a lot of 
artist there on some of the Microsoft slides. Like photos of them that were brought under the Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Rocks, crystals, and shells, and stuff like that. And to model of Ted. For the shorts. Yeah. <laughs> and his moustache. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, if one of you wanted to make something like that, I'd be sure. Can we speak to Ailey about doing it? That's really, really good. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.